Spurgeon here with Revzilla TV to talk to you about the force field action shorts available at Revzilla.com. So the action shorts are for you riders out there that want to add impact protection to your already abrasive resistant riding gear. With the action shorts, they're available in two different flavors. You have a sport version and a pro version. And this is really the difference between the two, the armor that you see on my right hand side. So we're gonna get into the differences in the armor in this video to help you fine tune your particular choice. Now, as far as sizing is concerned, sizes are gonna range from extra small up to a 2XL. And you're gonna see the color here is that gray colorway. You're gonna to wanna to size these the same you would with your underwear. So if you're rocking a size large in your Calvins, guess what? You're gonna be a size large in the force field as well. No surprises there. Force field is known for their role in protective impact armor in the motorsports industry. And what you're gonna see with the action shorts, it allows you to add that protection to your thighs, to your hips, as well as to your buttocks and your cossacks, giving you protection from impact, again, in a shorts style. If you wanna to go to a long tight style, there is a pro pant, which is gonna be a full tight with stirrup that also includes knee protection. That would be the step up from the action shorts. Now the sport version comes in around the $170 price point, while the pro version bumps up to around the $200 price point. So you are getting maximum impact protection. You also are going to get this in two different versions. So let's start by breaking down those versions that you're gonna see. So I pulled the thigh armor out of two different pairs of shorts. Starting with the sport shorts, these are gonna have the Sport M15 armor from Force Field, and this is gonna be a three layer armor. And you're gonna see really clearly if I spread these out for you, they're not bound at the edges, and you're gonna have those three distinct layers right there. And by not binding them at the edges, you get a really nice flexible design. This is gonna work really well to move with the body and give you comfort. Now the Sport Armor is gonna be CE level one rated. It's gonna transmit 21 kilonewtons of force to the body in the event of an impact. Now when we're moving on to the Pro Armor, you're gonna see the Pro Armor has four distinct layers. And my biggest concern for this was I thought it was gonna be bulkier than the three level armor, but when I put them side by side, you can see there's almost no extra bulk to the actual armor, and you're getting increases in actual protection in the force transmitted to the body. Still nice and flexible, they don't bind the edges, so you can see all four separate layers, and it moves really nicely with you as you're riding around. What you're getting by jumping up to the Pro, Still CE level one rated, but it's only transmitting nine kilonewtons of force to the body. Now, technically this would pass current CE level two standards. However, it's only rated CE one because CE two didn't exist when force field first introduced this armor. But keep in mind, you are getting CE level two protection, but it is only rated for CE level one. That's what you're getting with that big step up to the pro version of these shorts. Now, when we talk about the overall short design, you're getting the impact armor in the exact same locations, and the overall material of the shorts that you see on my left-hand side is gonna be the same. This is gonna be their Be Cool fabric. It's a polyamide fiber. It's gonna allow for more diffusion than a traditional fiber, which means more sweat wicking to help keep you dry in those areas in your body where you tend to sweat if you're out there doing a rigorous activity like riding a motorcycle. Now, when we take a look at this, you're gonna notice, I'm just gonna spin it here. You're gonna have elastication at the top. The whole fabric will be elasticated and you do have a drawstring right at the front. Spinning this guy, you're gonna notice you do have hip armor as well as thigh armor working down the sides. And when we move it around to the back, you're gonna notice you do have buttocks protection as well as full caustics protection to keep that tailbone safe in the event of a crash. Now, the other thing I wanna note, take a look down here you have a little bit of a silicone bead on the inside to hold the shorts in place when you have these on. My biggest concern was that this was gonna pull my leg hair. I was pleasantly surprised to find that when I put the shorts on, it didn't affect my leg hair at all, and it didn't snag up, didn't feel uncomfortable. Overall, what it did give me was a really nice secure feel, and I felt like the shorts would stay in place even as I was out there throwing myself around in different conditions. Now, it's really up to you as to what level of protection you're looking for, whether the sports would do fine for you or the pros. But you can see here, it's really just gonna be the difference in the armor that sets those two versions apart. There's a lot of riders out there that are rocking force field gear to keep them safe in the event of a crash. And if you wanna hear more about what those riders have to say, click the info button on your desktop or mobile device to read about what other riders are digging about the force field setups they're rocking on their rides. If you have more questions for us, never hesitate to pick up the phone and give us a call 
877-792-9455, or simply type us out an email, cs at revzilla.com. Thank you for joining us for this look at the Force Field Action Shorts. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.